was there each time I would like comb out my hair it would just fall out like every time I go for brush my hair I comb it out I just see you know when you look on the ground here here be here up on the ground but not just that this is who I am mm -hmm. the good and the bad the mess the beauty the joy and that's what I have always been ashamed of. And now it's like, you know, it's like that saying, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Ooh. What's up, Gems? Welcome to the video. I've been really hesitant about doing this video, but in my big chop video, I told you guys that I was struggling with a scalp condition and that if I found a solution, I would come back and tell you guys but uh, i've been really hesitant to do the video for several reasons but mainly because uh some parts of it is a little embarrassing but then i thought to myself that maybe something or something i say can help somebody else which is a big part of why i started doing my youtube videos so here goes but first i need to say hi to my two guests them decide for just pop up them one video light anyways so i was natural for a while and then i relaxed my hair in november 2021 i'll try to add some videos and stuff i relaxed my hair in november 2021 and i did everything right regular treatments limited heat like i would only blow dry my hair on cool and i only flat iron my hair once a month a lot of um protective styles and never i would never lay down without or go to bed without covering my hair with a silk with a silk bonnet or a silk tie it or whatever so within the year my hair grew to the longest length it had ever been so november 2022 i'm gonna insert some clips my hair was the longest it had ever been <laughs> right so i was excited about my relaxed hair journey and everybody was complimenting me and it just felt so good but then in december 2022 i um, took a trip to Canada my first time being in the snow and everything and while I was there each time I would like comb out my hair it would just fall out like every time I go for brush my hair I comb it out I just see you know when you look on the ground here here be here the on the ground but not just that my scalp my scalp was white yeah white 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 i mean say what is what could i cause this but then i was saying to myself i must look cold because and then me like either you know of my hair out in the cold like in the snow my hair was out but then when i came back to jamaica in january my hair was still falling out like every time you look on the ground here here like if you pull me here too hard here like it, it just kept breaking and breaking and to make matters worse my scalp wasn't as bad as it was in canada but be a flake 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 i mean say listen to me camera what is this what cause all of this and my hair just kept breaking and my scalp just like, could i just wash me here like could i just wash me here when you look as my hair dry when you look flake 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 we could have oil it this morning by evening flake 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 it's like snow start fall from my shoulder them and it was so embarrassing i tell you and i kept cutting my hair because it kept breaking so you know it uneven so i kept cutting it cutting it cutting it cutting it and then i decided that you know I wanted to try the pixie cut so this is an opportune time to cut it to do the pixie cut but before the pixie cut last november 
I went to relax my hair and the hairdresser was like I'm um, not even know how to do it here because your hair really thin you have to get some treatment and stuff I'm, it come like she does she come like she keep me on my face come like she keep me on my face never in my life anybody ever tell me say my hair thin people also say your hair is so thick when you manage your hair you have been falls here all of them things say. so for the hair just have a tell me say um your hair really thin like me, me, me book on a ball on a ball and what made things worse is that thinking about it seeing the hair falling out it just made things worse because i was stressed out about it i was really stressed out about it i was really stressed out about it so and i was going a lot was going on last year and then the hair fell out every minute and my hair was my beauty to me that's why I thought that my hair was my beauty. And for me, I lose my hair. Just a follow, a follow, a follow. Thin. What am I say? Thin. Like, I was just so depressed about it. And then I did my big chop in November last year, 2023. And the hairdresser was like, um, did you know that you have eczema on your scalp? I was like... Oh, and that would explain so much. And I'm like, oh gosh, but at least now that I know, I can read the panit and try something. But then I was reading, and then like, there's no cure. You just have to manage it. And I'm like, oh, can't do this. But then I came upon seborrheic dermatitis, and I was reading about it, and I was like, okay, this so like what I have. This so like when I have like my scalp would have start fear up. It got so bad that all uh, not even my scalp scalp like the front of my hair, my hairline start flake up. My hairline so like how uh, my face start flake up in some areas like here so my forehead start flake up. I'm gonna say I'm gonna cause this. I'm gonna go dermatologist. But you know what I mean? Mega try to have things for my own if it until it bad bad we go doctor because me and doctor now have no good relationship no good relation me and him just cannot agree so i did a lot of reading but even the reading kept make, making things worse because they're saying oh there's no cure you just have to manage it and it might be caused by your diet it might be it might um flare up because of your diet because of stress i'm done stress about it already and then it's just like gonna make it worse um because of your diet because of stress hormones and a bug of things immune system problems i'm like camera camera and in the time i had well this year coming into this year i had changed my diet not for this specific reason but i changed my diet cut out all of the sugars and all of that and nothing had changed can i say it's not my diet because me not eat no bag of sugar things me actually I keep eat healthy and just it's still a flake up still a flake up on the works and it just kept getting worse like on the shoulder a flake up because I just wash my hair once because so I start combing it out flake 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 and it was just so embarrassing my shoulder them white white like small part on my shoulder but then since i did my big chop which was like a month ago now uh i have two things i have changed since i've done my big chop and i think i hope that that is the difference since i've done my big chop i haven't oiled my scalp at all i used to oil my scalp like once a week or when, when it get bad like every other day and for sure you it bad i used to oil my hair today and in the morning, and by my come home in the evening, I'm a scalp that I feel like um, I started to try different products. Somebody recommended sulfur eight, and no sulfur eight smell bad. But I put the sulfur eight in my ear in the morning. By the time I come in the evening, I scalp that flakes that. Anyways, so I've completely stopped oiling my scalp. I don't put any oil on my scalp. And when I wash my hair now, I allow the shampoo 
thread. I even tried like a dandruff shampoo and that didn't work for me. Sorry. <coughs> See, it's you. That did not work for me. So what I do now when I shampoo my scalp, I allow the shampoo to sit for at least three minutes. Three minutes, five minutes before I rinse my hair and I don't put I don't oil my scalp any at all. And if you can see now, my scalp is moisturized. So I'm hoping that this is the fix. And I'm hoping if you're struggling with it, you can probably try it or leave some recommendations in the comments. I'm hoping that this is a fix. I haven't had a single flake and the edges of my hairline and all of that. It's clear up. Clear up, clear up. So I'm hoping that this is the fix. I don't think I'm gonna grow my grow out my hair anytime soon because I really love the shortness and I kind of wash and go. I really love it. But I really want to try like going on my relaxed journey here again to see how if I can get my hair longer than it was before so I really want to try that but at the same time I don't feel like growing out my hair right now so let's see where that takes us anyways um thank you guys for listening you can leave a comment or two about if you've ha had any experience with things like this I don't know sometimes I can't take people and just love chat because everybody feel like they know everything now I was like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. And like, <laughs> anyways, um, I may do a follow up video if anything changes, but if not, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. But thank you guys for listening, and don't forget to like, comment, and come back. I maybe skipping a couple videos for the following weeks because i have some things working on things that i can't video uh, i don't know i don't know i don't know but i'm telling already you know sometimes i feel like for run with the phone i might run with the phone i don't know but thanks for watching gems bye